Welcome on back, faithful, to another installment of Ask the Chief. I'm your host, Angel Legend. And this week, you guys asked a lot of great questions, so we're going to kick things off with two from the same YouTuber. DandyWings2 asks, Chief, do you have all the halos? And did you paint your silver suit when you got Halo 5 or make another one? Well, Dandy Wings, to answer your first question, no, I don't own all the Halos. The one I don't own is Halo Wars 2. However, every other one I do own, and I have played them all multiple times through, especially on Legendary. The second question, actually, I painted that silver and red suit about two years ago, so it would have been before Halo 5. Thanks for the questions. Next question up is from Alvin Velasco. They ask, well, I happened to buy a white cap plasti dip this morning and was wondering, can I use that on my EVA foam armor as well? I mean, does it make a huge difference whether I use the black cap one over the white cap one? Well, Alvin, it doesn't really make a difference either way whether you use the white cap plasti dip or the black cap plasti dip. I, however, like to use the black cap one because I feel like I can see the coverage better. The white cap tends to get soaked up by the blackness of the foam and looks a little bit gray and blotchy, whereas the black Plasti Dip really complements the fact that the EVA foam is already a dark color. Plus, if you paint over top of it and you scratch the paint that's on the surface, it looks a lot better when you've got black shining through than white or red. So I hope this answers your question. Yes, you can in fact use the white cap over the black. Next question up is from Zombie Slayer. Is this armor from Halo 4? I love that Halo. Yes, Zombie Slayer, this armor that I'm wearing right now is in fact from Halo 4. It's not my favorite one. My favorite is the Mark 6 from Halo 3, but this one had so many awesome geometric shapes to it and was really planar, had a lot of awesome smooth surfaces that I thought, what the heck, let's try our hand at something that doesn't quite look like a bulldog. Thanks for the question, Zombie Slayer. The next question is from Kyle's Creations. How much should I up? slash downscale the torso piece if I'm about 5 foot 9 and have a 21 inch chest. Let's see Kyle, if I was 5 foot 9 and had a 21 inch chest, I would scale down the armor by 10%. If you look at me right here, I have a 42 inch chest and with the uh, motocross gear that I'm wearing underneath of it, it kind of fills in the, uh, the space between my actual pecs and the back of the foam itself. However, if you scale it down 20%, I don't believe you're going to be able to get it on. So I would try scaling it down 10% first and look into getting yourself either a compression suit or a suit of motocross gear because that will help to fill in the rest of the space for you. Hope this helps. Next question is from Sauron's right hand man. Hey Angel Legend, I was wondering if you have ever used white Plasti Dip. I got some because it was a few bucks cheaper than black. However, when I use it, however careful I am, it always bubbles up even when I heat treat the foam. Have you ever had this issue with Plasti Dip before? Sauron, yes, I have had that issue with Plasti Dip before. Um, the color does not make a difference though as to whether or not you have the issue, but there are three reasons that I know of that I have experienced where my can will get gummy and spurt out like that. Number one reason is if you've let the Plasti Dip get cold. Now, whether you store it outside and you live in kind of a cooler climate and the can itself is cold, that can cause it to get a little bit sludgy on the inside and come out in kind of spurts. So I always keep my cans indoors. And also, if you've let the can get cold, even if you've brought the temperature back up to a room temperature inside, on occasion, the inside of that can, something happens to it and that Plasti Dip can still come out gummy. So my first recommendation is keep your cans inside. Secondly, if it is gummy coming out originally, it's not going to matter too much if it's your first coat of Plasti Dip on your EVA foam because the porous surface of that foam will soak it all up. However, if you're spraying Plasti Dip onto an already sealed suit of armor, if this is your second coat of Plasti Dip, it's going to sit on top like little beads of rubber, which sucks. Another reason that the can can spurt a little bit like that is the nozzle itself is a little bit clogged. If this is your second time using the can, it gets clogged really, really easily. So if you can't clear the clog with the tip of your fingernail, the best way to do it is to get a small piece of wire and push it through the hole that's in the tip of that nozzle and kind of scramble it around to clear that clog. Another reason that your Plasti Dip will come out in spurts and get kind of nasty is that you haven't shaken it enough. Typically when I spray Plasti Dip, whether it's my first time, my second, or my third time, I will shake that can between a minute and a half to two minutes really, really hard. 
This makes sure that it gets all completely mixed up, and sometimes that can remedy whether or not your can has been out in the cold or not. So, if you're having any of these issues, number one, check the nozzle, make sure that clog is clear. Number two, shake the bejesus out of that can before you use it. Hope this helps. All right, and our final question of the day is from FNAF Club, or FNAF Club, or FNAF Club. I'm uncertain. But they ask, just curious, how long did making this set of armor take you? Also, who is your favorite character in Halo? FNAF Club, this suit of armor that I'm wearing right now took me two and a half months to make. However, I was doing a whole lot of armor tutorials during that entire building process. Had I not been doing those tutorial videos, I could have probably saved myself a full month and gotten this entire suit of armor done in about four weeks. So, with the advent of the videos and all the tutorials that I did, hopefully it will save future cosplayers a whole lot of time. To answer your second question, if I can be just a little bit partial, my favorite character in Halo is myself, Spartan117, the Master Chief. Alright Faithful, thank you so much for checking out this installment of Ask the Chief. You guys are amazing, and if you have not yet subscribed, please smash that subscribe button. And if you haven't yet, please smash that like button. I love you guys, and I hope you guys have had an amazing day thus far, and have an amazing week throughout. Also, if you feel like asking me a question, hashtag it inside the comment section below, Ask the Chief. Feel free to ask me whatever. It can be cosplay, armor, halo, whatever. I want to answer your questions. So till next time, this is Spartan117 slash Angel Legend slash Eric Rolon signing out.